Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your Comptroller, Jeff Davis. Glad to be back in town. It is November 5th, 2018, and Harmon Town is now in session. We're going to start things off in a slightly different fashion, a little bit of a departure from our normal intros. Before I introduce your Game Master and your Mayor, let's please bring out the Solid Me Undies Dancer! Yeah. Your Game Master, Spencer Crittenden, everybody. And the mayor of Harmon Town, Dan Harmon. Thank you. Me onesies. Me onesies. Me onesies. Me undies as onesies. Head to toe, wearing me undies the way you know, but now the way you've never known them. Me undies are growing from your shoulders to your throne them. I and your ankle them. Uh, soft as regular MeUndies, but covering your body, which raises questions. I'm wearing an undershirt right now and regular MeUndies under the one Me Onesies. But if I wasn't wearing MeUndies underneath my Me Onesies, I have to wonder if I would just be rocking a constant, agitated, Hard on. I, 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 you're a stalking fetishist. Well, I'm. Every look. Everyone's a soft material dragged across your cocks fetishist. I, I know. It's a, right. Everyone. I think we can cut the. the I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna segue into a rap about this. Everyone's a having cloth draped across your cock apologist. Not apologist. Fetishist. Uh, <laughs> Apologies. I'm, I'm not defensive about any of my fetishes. I'm just saying, like, I'm not. I, I don't. I, I'm just saying, for me to say, look, we all know that the Miyundi's material is made from a material, a space age, but uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, replenishable. What are you? Completely sustainably Sustainable. sourced. Uh, <laughs> space age fabric that's three times fat. Uh, We're talking about micro modal. Micro modal. <laughs> and uh, but. And I, 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 got, I, I got excited about me socks. Oh, yeah. It turns out me socks are made of cotton. <laughs> like, I, I, it's I don't, three I, times less soft than micro modal. I can see why they were <laughs> hesitant. They never sent the me socks. And I, meanwhile, I was worried, like, well, what if the me socks are also three times softer than cotton? Is this going to turn into an Ed Wood situation for me? Like, yeah. like, w w because I'm a fan of uh, uh, women in com comfortable uh, uh, fabrics. And uh, uh, what, what if I wanted to take upon myself there? What if I, what if I got a taste of it and was like, you know what? Uh, like, like, w what if this awakens something in me, to, to, uh, to, to paraphrase Dean Pelton from my hit show, Community? Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm draped head to toe in, in, in luxurious yeah, micromodal. For the non-stream uh, non, uh, subscriber, uh, Dan and Spencer are wearing what can only be described as hoodie to toe onesies right now. You, oh, you, yeah. You, you, this looks like Christmas morning at... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I Harmon assume these Town. are called me onesies, right? I hope so. Uh, oh yeah. Did, did you coin that, or is that what they're actually? I don't called? know. Both. I'm, I'm. I don't know. Probably. Did I coin it? I mean, yeah. But Great minds think alike. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they probably had a long time to think about it. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, they're, they're they're a sponsor, but look, I mean, we don't uh, we, we don't. If Black and Decker sponsors the show, we're not going to come out here and drill. Uh, <laughs> That would be amazing. Now, Spencer, that uh, sounds like fun, though. We should we should do that. We would. Well, maybe we would do it. Maybe that would be fun. Because that I don't sounds know why great. That was my example. But Spencer. if it were worse, we wouldn't because we have integrity. Right, Spencer. Are you wearing anything underneath your me onesie? Oh yeah, clothes. <laughs> so you have a, you have a full outfit underneath your me onesie. I'm wearing a three piece suit. I have the feeling that you're not you're actually not wearing anything under that me onesie. No, no. It's legal. <laughs> I wonder about my nipples cuz I'm wearing an undershirt which I don't know if I would or I wouldn't. I wonder about your nipples too, Dan. I think we all do. 
It's like, what if I had micromodal, like, kind of like uh, encasing my nipples, and well, like every time bad. I rolled over in what, bed, it was bad. like sliding across it. This? I don't, I don't know. Why don't Spencer and I talk for a bit? You go backstage, oh, just yeah. robe, and put your your onesie on without anything on. No, no, not without. I'm not. No, that's not. That's no. What are you afraid of? I'm a. I'm concerned about what. I'm con the show being bad. I'm, I, I want to. I, <laughs> I was about to say I'm worried about what they're afraid of, but I don't want to go there because then you're going to go, what are you afraid of, right, people? And everyone's going to go, yeah, we're not afraid we of this. anything. It's like, I was it, it, I'm afraid of what, what, what is assault, uh, <laughs> whether, whether they asked for it or not. Okay, how about this? How I about don't this? want them watching to see whether or not my little tiny fucking paneling oh. nail cock like, it, uh, starts much to better twitch. Reason. and it's a, th th There comes a point when entertainment is not is worth no ticket price. What about this? D leave, leave your me undies under your me onesies on, but take the shirt off. And just see the shirt. It, 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 let's, just, let's do a nipple experiment on your, on your me onesies. Just the nipple really, experiment. On, let's talk. Let's, there's just so much to talk about. <laughs> It's such a it's such a crucial time right now, guys. I mean, I'm sure by the time this uh, actually drops as a podcast, uh, the time the, the the time will be over. But right now, it's such an important time to let your voice be heard. I'm talking about making sure that you leave a comment under a famous person's Instagram, <laughs> letting them know why you don't vote. How dare Judd Apatow post a reminder that it's time to vote? You don't let your voice be heard. Explain to him why democracy doesn't work anymore. He's asking for it. And more importantly, what if, what if you didn't say anything? Oh, no. Oh, my God. The oh, system no. would walk all over you. Famous people would remind everyone to vote. Oh, everyone no. would vote whether they wanted to or not for whoever the fuck they wanted to. You have to let freedom ring. This is your one chance to lend your voice to an outcry without make, you know, risking your voice actually becoming a part of anyone else's voice because this is about you after all. Please write a three-paragraph theme under any, everyone's Instagram. How long, Alyssa Milano, must we live under the cruel tyranny of me following you on Instagram? What do you mean, rock the vote, Sebastian Cabot? <laughs> is he still? He's is, is, be, is, yeah. is his Instagram still alive? Yeah. He, I'm, a little, I just, I'm like, you know, everybody, look, our culture has obviously become about... Uh, you know, as everybody knows, like when I was in high school, we would have a thing in Milwaukee. You, you uh, like uh, stand in the parking lot of the uh, McDonald's, and uh, uh, Jerry's uh, or a stranger. It's probably a stranger because otherwise you wouldn't do this. But somebody's Camaro goes by, and they go, and they peel their tires. And then what do you do in response to the tires peeling? regardless of how many people are around you and how much they value their eardrums, this Camaro has committed a crime. So now your duty as a champion of the people and their peace and quiet is to go, oh, you're so cool! <laughs> and then probably, possibly, maybe someone who heard you do that could open their apartment window and go, hey, some people have to work in the morning. And then maybe someone who lives on the roof of that person's building could be like, Oh, it must be nice to have a job! <laughs> Says the pigeon master, the, the, the weird uh, off-brand crow archetype who emerged with the spirit of pigeons because he wasn't quite very wrongfully murdered. Um, It's endemic to our culture. Social media has only exasperated this feeling that if you just let a day go by without letting people know how fucking unique you are, um, a landslide might happen of mediocrity, unremarkability. You might get subsumed in like, in in just mayonnaise and and like, <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll wake up tomorrow and you'll be like, I should have said something yesterday. <sighs> 
it's probably not true. I just, you know, it, it, I, I think, if anything, it, it, isn't it nice that the celebrities now are simply saying vote? They're not saying, do, so like, this is because they're like, they really do just want you to vote. Hey, here's, here's a thought. Spare a thought for some of these people that are asking you, to, reminding you to vote. They maybe even know that you're not going to vote. They, 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 they're, they're simply making one last fucking deal <laughs> with the, with, 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 with wh whatever deity they worship. It's like, I, well, I gotta, I gotta say something so I can sleep like a baby. Like, remember Pontius Pilate? He was like, you know. <laughs> nobody, re does. nobody remembers Pontius Pilate harder than my, my, my personal oh, yeah. trainer. Than your personal trainer, Dave, Dave Klein. Klein. Yeah. It was really hard on him personally. Yeah. Uh, but even, yeah, I mean, he was surprised. He was like, I think I'm going to get it. I'm just saying, like, when you watch it, it, it's possible that someone that says to you, by the way, don't forget tomorrow's Wadala Day, that, that they, before you go, well, you know what? You know what? Here's the thing about that. I'm not going to do it because here's why. It, it just, uh, you might be talking to the one person left who's still talking to you. Like, like you... You might be shooting a, a, a messenger. Actually, this, was a, this, was a, this segues into a. I, the, like Cody and I were watching a. Uh, uh, we, we were listening to a, uh, a podcast about. Uh, oh, it was, it was another horror podcast. It's some horror narrative, and it's like in all, in a lot of these stories, people will uh, they go through a ghost story, and uh, and it'll it'll resolve in. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I, Don't tell me I'm not dressed the way. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I don't know whether wearing jammies during a tirade helps or hurts. It might. It, might, <laughs> yeah, it mean, definitely what, is good. I'm sorry, we, 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 look like, we look like spokesmodels for like a new kind of gumdrop from yeah. Europe, right? Yeah. <laughs> Like Moochenglubins. Uh, oh, man. Like, like, yes. People like us are like, have you talked? Dude, give me some of them. Moochenglubins. I, I think. Me onesies should come out with like, like a gubernatorial brand of, of one of one me onesies that has suspenders so you could you could tuck your thumbs into it. Mm. What is with you millennials and hoods? Oh boy. <laughs> why are you why are you millennials so hood hood accepting? They're good. What's a, what do you what's a, like, wear a hat, you jagoffs? No one has ever done anything bad wearing a hood. What do you what do you what do you what a generation X like uh, invest too much in peripheral vision and Fuck you, space children. <laughs> there, it's hard to, you can't see on the, what the hell's going on over there? Some I, guy buying all the hats, that's what's going on, you yeah. fools. Yeah, you're, it, too, yeah, you're it, too hood happy. Yeah, you're a bunch of hood drunk uh, uh, hologram kids. Dan, keep your hood on, keep your hoodie on, and recite the Federalist Papers for us. See, <laughs> see, see how much water that holds. Uh, 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 we, 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 the Federalists, uh, that bring upon this uh, paper. paper the union of two, <laughs> two governments, uh, uh, the, 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 the Federal, Federale and the Federalum. Yeah. Uh, made the two. Yeah, I can't even keep track of you it. You can't do it. You can't no. do it. Yeah, you got to wear a weird beaver top hat. Um. <laughs> anyways, oh, so we were listening to a ghost story on a podcast, and uh, ghost stories, uh, they often, they oftentimes will. Uh, They'll uh, there'll be like a ghost, and then if it's <laughs> and there'll be three acts. There'll be a, like a story. And if it's gonna be like a happy ghost story, like oh, and then we got rid of the ghost. It, it, a lot of times it'll involve burning, burning, burnt down the house, and I got a can of gasoline that says this is never gonna happen to anyone else. And and I'm always like, wait, you don't you don't get that. You don't have that in ghost writing that you're not dooming a ghost to haunt a charred pile of. Briquettes? Uh, well, ghosts are inherently flammable. <laughs> we all You're know, we the all ghost know that nobody, nobody's saying the ghost is going to burn, but I think there's an assumption in some of these stories that if you just burn down the house where somebody got murdered or molested, that the ghost is going to go, finally. Yeah, no. Like, I was attached dumb. to the wood, like a termite. Like, right. I, 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 it's like, well, no. I mean, how do we know it's not like GPS? Like, that's the spot. <laughs> Right. You know, you, and, and if you burn the house down, you're actually dooming the ghost to like float around. And well, then I was, I was making that observation to Cody, and then Cody said, We were high. And, 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 Co <laughs> and then Cody said, This isn't going to be, you guys are going to take no delight in this, but I'm fucking, I can't, sometimes things make you so happy, you just got to try to share them. 
And then Cody said, so Cody said, well, maybe, maybe it's like a firehouse ghost. And then, and I, I, when she said that, I was like, oh, are you doing like a play on words? Like, because you're evoking the a famous phrase that I've never heard called a firehouse ghost. <laughs> And she's like, what? No. I'm saying, like, well, maybe it starts to haunt the firehouse. And I'm like, wait, so a firehouse ghost isn't an idiom? Like, it's not like a, <laughs> it's not an expression? Because it definitely should be. And, and, and she's like, no, yeah, no, I'm saying, like, maybe it was like a firehouse ghost. It just, like, leaps off the page as, like, an actual expression, especially right now. It, uh, the, a firehouse ghost is, it's sort of related to shooting the messenger um, it's like, it's like, whoa, man, listen, it's, it's, it's like if some, if you're protesting together and you're like, fuck, we don't want Nazis to take over America, uh, uh fuck that, and then, and then someone deters you and goes like, excuse me, are, are your boots gluten-free, like, like, <laughs> and you're like, it's, fuck you, bitch, fuck, fuck bitch, I don't beg your pardon, and like, whoa, 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 guys, you're haunting the firehouse. You're, you're, you're frightening the only people that are available to frighten. <laughs> Nobody that we're trying to fight gives a fuck what you're talking about. Get your signs back up in the air and stop being firehouse ghosts. Oh. Anyways, well, I didn't mean to make the, the example political. I just thought that it was a fun linguistic. Yeah. I, like, like, I, I, I spent the last... 45 seconds trying to think of a song by the band Firehouse, and I couldn't think of any. Kinda, Ghost. Man, you're kind of you're kind of haunting the firehouse right now, man. Like, who cares yeah. if he used the wrong pronoun? Like, he's all he's totally on your side. Firehouse is haunting themselves, bro. You gotta <laughs> let it go. Well, like, just you know, like put the hose down, man. I also like to imagine like firefighters like that. That's just a thing they have to deal with all the time. They're like, look, I mean, if 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 we were gonna let firehouse ghosts like scare us out of the firehouse, we wouldn't be very good firemen. Yeah, fire well, people. Sorry. Or is that a Ghostbusters reference? Because they the Ghostbusters work outside of a fire station. Right. Well, oh. that, that's a dumb dot to connect. Let's move on. That's really smart. That's just, Jeff. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, oh, I took it too far, huh? I like it. It's just a, it's just in a barrel now. Like, oh, Ghostbusters in the firehouse. A couple firehouse, of firehouse just, ghosts. There, there, there was a movie where a firehouse was haunted. Yeah, there. but it was a comedy in 1983. It's not like... <laughs> <sighs> just Jeff. <laughs> Let's... Uh, if you think that you're wearing r relaxed jammies around me gives you any sort of moral high ground. You're... <laughs> I just feel more empowered. I'm like, yeah. fuck you, buddy. Yeah, no, yeah. What are you wearing a suit? Yeah, how much you yeah. What'd you pay for it? Don't even have to tell me. Your comfort. Oh. I oh. I don't I don't I make no compromises. I'm cloaked in modal. I'm talking to a guy who won't even wear his me onesie without wearing other clothes underneath it. Oh shit. You can't even take off that shirt. <laughs> Get the nipple experiment. You can't even have a party, a shower with a beautiful woman without taking your jeans off. Yeah, that's a weird science reference, motherfucker. Because Levy didn't bring me my phone, I'll, oh, I'll no. take my shirt off while I grab my phone if you guys think you can handle it. I don't. I don't think we can. The reins of Apollo's chariot for long enough that the earth is not scorched and the seasons don't change? I don't think we can do it. I just think it's worth the risk. <laughs> Not even the risk, it's worth the damage. All right. What Dan doesn't know is that we have background, uh, like backstage cameras. Let's put, let's put those up on the big screen. All right, Chris, Borough. For $5 a month, you can watch Dan Harmon take his clothes off. Oh, look, there's his asshole. Spencer, what's your stance on hoodies? Is you, you, you have hoodie up right now. I, I'm loving this. I was saying that it reminds me of this Santa ornament I had at my house that was just like carved out of a wooden rod. It just delights me mm -hmm. that I look like a weird red druid. Oh, no. Oh. Proof. So, de so defiant. Yeah. Is it awakening something? Came back on like James Coburn. Well, I can't, I can't, I had to keep it unzipped, like, uh, like the, uh, the sort of like uh, 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 broken spirited porn actress that I've become. Like, I, I got like, 
uh, see, I swallowed it. Does that satisfy the fucking wait. parameters of your porn site? Because, uh, be, can be, I get be, my fucking clothes on and go to Best Buy now? Does Best Buy still exist? Yeah. I, meant, I meant Costco. How, I can see, I can see I, I think I can see one of your nipples right now. I think I can see one of them. Yeah, and they're probably getting super hard. <laughs> But this is an advertisement for MeUndies new me onesie because I'm telling you, you should be afraid <laughs> of the this comfort. comfort. Yeah, comfort that will. What are you doing? Come on, now this is. That's not. This is becoming problematic. That's not. His nipples are just fucking like the Eiffel Tower is on top of his chest. That's gonna happen in life. They're normal nipples that may be extraordinarily excited by a fabric that is inordinately <laughs> soft. Do you okay. think that's a plus or a minus for these, uh, like, 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 on your Yelp review of these things? Is, is, uh, are they too exciting for your nipples? Or? No, not too. That's what I'm saying. It's an advertisement for, I'm saying, like, hey, man. You know, like, like you think of, like, 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 uh, like they'll have, like, a candy bar advertisement, and they'll, they'll go, like, like, oh, careful, it might taste so good that you get fired, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like uh-oh, yeah. these paja ah. pajamas, these pajamas will make your dick explode. <laughs> and like, like, people are going to order them. They're going to be like, well, let's find out. I'll, right. I'll take that bet. Yeah, I, I, I didn't stop eating Cheetos when I found out they were dangerously cheesy. Yeah. Or like, you know, like old old movie, old horror movies that go like, mm, there's health insurance available at the door in case you have a heart attack from, you know, yeah. uh, a, 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 a goblin coming out. Uh -oh. You know, that makes sense. It's good advertising. Speaking we, of goblins, are you excited about this uh, next season of, uh, of Harmon Quest? Oh, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> you guys can come to taping if you want. It's next week. We're, we're, are you telling them? We're, we're yeah, I am. Dan and I are actually in the show. We you can. guys can come if you want to. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, the only other two things that I had to talk about were uh, this other thing in. Uh, this is a thing. Go, moving from true crime to horror podcasts, I have noticed the one thing that uh, the, I've noticed a human uh, flaw in our culture. I, something that I think we're letting slide too much and not questioning. This concept that you can feel like someone's watching you. I don't like it. Like what? <laughs> Like, like, even like cops in true crime shows will be like, yeah, I went to the vacant lot, and then I had this, I had that feeling, you know, like someone was watching. <laughs> like, it's, you're a professional police officer, and then the same, it's like, it's like, it's like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be saying the same things that somebody's saying in some like, like crazy fucking kookamani uh, story about like an octopus monster in a garage, like, like. Like, what, where did we get this idea that it's, like, totally kosher to, to be a person who doesn't necessarily totally believe in the paranormal, but you, we, 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 all, we all can feel when someone's watching us? That's crazy. That's, that's moon man shit. What are you, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying, like, you better fucking say, I believe in goddamn psychic phenomenon then. Yeah. You, can't, you can't just be like, well, I'm, I'm famous forensic psychologist so-and-so, and then I got that feeling, you know? Like, you feel like someone's, like, watching you. Like, what do you mean? What are you, Spider-Man? You can't say that. You're not allowed to say that and be a scientist or I, a police officer or I, anything. I, 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 what if, like, it's a human thing of you, like, you being, like, hypersensitive to the slightest movement, the slightest sound? I, that's not what it is. That's well, I, I don't, you, but the slightest sound. Like, daredevil, like, the hairs in the back of your neck are picking up on, like, someone's breath. That's called someone being so close to you that you can feel their breath. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> They, like, I'm talking about like people are like, oh, I yeah. felt like someone was watching me. And, and people, we just accept it. We're too accepted of it. When people say that, that should be the equivalent, at least if a police officer on a true crime show says, and then I kind of got that feeling, you know, someone was watching me. We should at least regard that as the same as him saying, like, you know, I knew I was a Capricorn, so going in, I had to bring extra bullets. <laughs> we should be like, I don't care how many bullets you bring, but don't base it on that. <laughs> be careful. You write, you write reports. <laughs> they can't be based on no planets. They gotta be based on the beat and the street. All right. Look, me. I, you know, look, I, I've been doing this long enough. I feel like your pajamas, are, your, your pajamas are giving you too much of a sense of latitude right now. Latitude? 
latitude he thinks I've got. Oh, boy. If he could stand where I'm standing, I feel like I've got to hunch over just to uh, avoid the ceiling fan with these people. I know where I stand with you, you, you folks, and, and, and I'm fine with it. That's why I always bring interesting guests. We, we talk about things. You know, I throw them to the sharks. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I say this in the most loving way possible, the way your father said it to you a thousand times. I've had it with you. <laughs> and, the, and, and I say, as your, as your babysitter uh, often said, uh, I, I, I don't care what you think. And as your mother uh, said maybe a few times, like, you're not mine. <laughs> There's no actual connection here. It was a legal semi-financial transaction in a back alley. This sounds like the lead-up to the best intro to a guest of all time. Yeah. So don't even think for a second you have power over my confidence. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Shut up, you sycophantic prick. See, I can't tell if, you're, if your onesie is making you more confident or more vulnerable. Like, it, 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 it's, it's almost like Maybe it's... I started drinking at work early. You don't... <laughs> You don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. Maybe, maybe after a year, I finally signed a contract that makes me unfireable. That, that seems like a safe uh, bee's hive to Oh, sure. No, yeah. Let's uh, oh Dan, Dan, that seems safe to talk about. Hey Dan, hey, oh that seems a good thing to say. Oh Dan, that seems like a good idea. Oh Dan, keep talking about that. Hey Dan, pick your battles. Hey Dan, keep talking. Oh dig a little deeper. Too much information. Oh I wouldn't say what you're saying right now. And uh, meep meep moop moop. Fuck off! I hate it. I can't stand this life anymore. I'm 45 years I spent doing one thing right. I was honest. That's all I ever did. Just let me fucking tell you how my day went. Stop fucking pretending that there's a way I'm going to get through this life unscathed. It's not going to happen. The only way to do it wrong is to be afraid of these fucking people. Let's bring out our socialist friend. <laughs> We have it. it was the best intro. It's our, it's our favorite socialist, Josh Androsky, is here. Yeah, measure me. What's up? That was real. That uh, rule. Uh, well, I think real, it was but I didn't fake. really say anything. I think what I'm saying is if I feel like saying anything in the future, I may say it. So it's a you're but I saying really say anything. You're saying that you might say something. Yeah, I'm declaring an intention to say. It's a promise ring of saying. Yeah, it doesn't really mean a lot. Hell yeah, but yeah. it means something to you. It could be good. Uh, you're like the Elon Musk of saying things. <laughs> Well, it, I mean, look, I know he may have uh, uh, overpromised uh, his delivery of uh, poor people's Teslas. Is that what you're referring to? No, he He's a great man. He's my best friend. Leave him alone. <laughs> He's Willy Wonka, but if an evil, awful, awful, horrible, union-busting child man with pork skin? You guys are all jealous, and... He was a child of gem barons. He if... had rubies in his pocket growing up. This is true. We love rubies. <laughs> Those are good things. They're beautiful. We pay top They look great. And his family keeps them from the rest of us. You find them in chests. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk. Let's 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 make you the Elon Musk of socialism. Let's uh, let's even the score a little bit. Equal time. Uh, right. Uh, Elon will be responding to all of your points. <laughs> I would love that. Yep. <laughs> How have you been since the last time we saw you, which is a long time ago, probably too long? Uh, I've been really good, thank you. I've do you want some liquor? We, we give it to, uh, do we give it according to need? <laughs> uh, you do, or you're looking extra Marxy right now. It's really, <laughs> because it's of like the slumber comfort? party Marx. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I probably look like Slumber Party Hitler too, though, right? I mean, I look oh, like Slumber yeah. Party anybody. That, no, not with that beard. Oh, okay. You have to get rid of most of your facial hair. Oh, you're rec- you're talking about you're saying since I last saw you, my beard maybe got bushier. Well, less Hitler, like yeah. certainly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting if Hitler had a beard. What, I, I think he would have been way cooler. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Ugh. It says a lot about you that you're like, I'm going to have one little fucking square of hair on my face and that's it. Yeah. That's the worst thing he ever did. <laughs> uh, I've been good. Hey, among his biggest crimes, facial hair. Yes, thank you. I do wonder you. about that mustache because obviously the one thing we know, the, 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 the automatic thing that comes to mind is Chaplin, but and so we know there must be, there must have been some well, fucking that, that, thing that, that people did back then. Uh, gas masks in World War I, uh, you couldn't have a long, wide mustache because it would like break the seal on the gas mask in the trenches. So right. the, the fashion for sh- short mustaches became a thing where you could seal the gas mask around your mouth. That seems, that seems very... Cool. <laughs> That seems very logical, but it seems like the kind of logic that ultimately is like... It's, a, it's, a, it's like when people go, like, you know the word fuck stands for for use of carnal knowledge, and they used to tattoo it on witches. I'm like, <laughs> that rings logical, but it also doesn't ring with the kind of organic truth that most true things turn out to have. Yeah, it because, almost sounds a little it, it overwrought. It doesn't explain why Michael Jordan had a Hitler mustache in the Haynes commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the, he, he was going ham on that gas mask bong. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Name a better reason. Yeah, all right. Do we believe of mankind, for instance, uh, and in this case, I truly mean mankind, like that that mustache fashion would acquiesce to gas maskery in functionality while still like would people be that insistent on a mustache well, that I, they would I, be like, well, I, it's got to stay. There's got to be some that, mustache <laughs> there. I that, just that, think was that, also, the, that was also a mustache style pre World War One, but that became a more functional oh, mustache. Oh, okay, all right. So it gained well, popularity well, because it, 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 beca- it, it gained functionality. Like if, if you were if you were a fighter, it, in ga- the it gained popularity because of the functionality. Yeah. So you keep pretending that you're correcting me. We're talking about the same thing. You fucking son of a bitch. Would you Whoa, know? you're haunting the firehouse, bro. But we're. Bu- <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Josh, I, I, was ho- I was saving that one for later in the show. You <laughs> fucking I'm so sorry. <laughs> you lobbed it right up. That's a big mistake to save it, I think. That was oh, a, that's yeah. like a cookie on a... I mean, not to no, under, no, undermine no, no, your he, use of it. He did uh, it perfectly. I, yeah. But it was pretty easy. Um, <laughs> they, they, but I'm saying, I'm saying to, to, but I just I don't want to harp on this, but I because I, I have these questions. But they're also they're also though. answerable through Wikipedia, probably. But what do you type in? Hitler mustache is it, or ch- the chaplain? Like, like it's like what is that fucking stripe? We now we have this insight that maybe it got signal boosted as a mustache, <laughs> whereas because ga- it was gas mask compatible. Please retweet <laughs> this mustache, please signal boost. But at some point, still people are like, you know, God knows why any mustache would ever. I mean, we all know from playing role playing games, uh, uh, video games, that there's a million kinds of mustache. Hell yeah! How, how, how do any of them gain any kind of favor? Also, going to any. Uh, Bar or restaurant in Silver Lake. <laughs> so we got to send Malcolm Gladwell to Squirrel to discover <laughs> how mustaches like yes. sociologically get better. Right. Josh, is there is there any is there what what has happened since we saw you last? Maybe in your take uh, personally or uh, sure. politically? I don't know. Take it anywhere you want. So to. I um I'll, I'll take it politically because that's what I've been sort of I I uh. So I guess I, I should say first that I won a million dollars on a slot machine. Um, oh, right. I think I knew yeah, that. Yeah, I won a million dollars on a Big Bang Theory slot machine. Uh, <laughs> bazinga. Right. Uh, that's a real thing that happened to me. Um, so I think that was wait. something that we didn't talk about, that, but that was true last time we saw you. Yes. Because wait. you didn't then give it all away, which would undermine your... Uh, I gave half of it away. <laughs> I did, and Elon the Musk can taxes, fucking take that right. to the bank. You I won, did. You, I gave. You won I a million ha- dollars on yeah. a Big Bang 
theory slot machine. Yeah. And gave half of it away. To like friends and family and various organizations because Could nobody be. should hoard that much wealth. And h how much did they sock it to you for luxury tax on that? Like, what, what, yeah, Oh how boy, much was the tax? way more than... That's gotta be like half, right? Yeah, and then the slot machine corporation cuts off a chunk for them. They gotta have a taste. Uh, I don't know <laughs> why, but they cut off like Wait, they, they, six figures. They have a taste? <laughs> shut up, not really. No, for real. No, shut up. I swear they don't to go, God. Well, we made the machine that made the money. What they <laughs> yes, uh, which is how Elon get, Musk gets rich. You think it's cheap to get Chuck Lorre to agree to put Big Bang Theory's <laughs> face on this uh, uh, machine? It didn't go to Chuck. Uh, I checked. I'm a millionaire now. I can talk to him. Um, uh, I no. I they they said that what we promised you was the annuity, so you get like. $50,000 for X amount of years. Oh. And it, it ended up being until I was like 55 or 60 or something. And I was like, there's not going to be a Nevada then. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me all of it right now. And they're like, all right, yeah. well, we got to cut off six figures for ourselves. Oh, and that's the, right. that's the deal. Oh, so they're the the, to uh, get the lump sum. That is such a fucking that's how they do fuck it. Fuck. I know. Don't you feel so bad also, for me? Also. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do because they should. Because yeah, a, million, it's a million fucking dollars should come out of the thing, and, and knowing that that can't happen, that that the, the fucking check that comes out should be you should be able to take it to a giant foam bank and like yes, I, and it's, it's the ghost it, of Ed McMahon is there. It yeah. sucks, but it's also uplifting actually to learn that like if you do win like a bunch of money in a contest, that actually it is is it's it's like basically. Like as cool as getting a massive unearned promotion at your dishwashing job, like like, and that it, and that it only like actually like like that there's like four every to year, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. Wait, so Josh, I have a question. Yes. I, have, I have friends that have won much smaller amounts, but still big amounts of money, like on slots. Right? Did they? Um, guilt you into tipping them really largely? Like, oh, they didn't have to. That was the first fucking thing. I was like, give me all this money. I just want to walk around and give people $100 bills because, like, how often do you get to radically confront your own value system, right? <laughs> like, I am a, I am a self-proclaimed card-carrying socialist, so it was like, all right, I have to literally put my money where my mouth is <laughs> now. Uh. So, so, like... That part of it that was like, could have been a Larry David, like, what did you do to deserve? I was like, what did I do to deserve this? So I was just like, I'm the money man. <laughs> like, I wanted to get a suit with question marks all over it. Like, free money <laughs> from me. What? But, but, but I'm, I'm assuming you, <laughs> after all of, all of those takeaways and all that stuff, that you still ended up six figures up at some point. Yeah, under yeah. 500,000. Just I just got for being a dude. And now, w was this a high stakes game you're playing? Were you playing? Like no, it was a penny slot, my man. <laughs> no, oh, so you're you're on like a. Sorry, yeah. I'm hung up on something else. You know that suit has dollar signs on it, not question marks. The que if it was question marks, the, it would I'd be, be the, the Joker. Riddler. Uh, the Riddler. Uh, Wait. Right, the Riddler. Sorry, Matthew Lesko had the exclamation points or the but dollar the, the signs. The guy, th yeah. the real estate guy, it, he looks like the Riddler, but he has dollar signs, right? right? Matthew um, Lesko is his name. I yeah. know that from being super stoned and watching TV. You're not the first person that that that, refer that goes like, oh, I got a question mark, and then it's like, God, if I created the, the Riddler, I'd be so oh, mad. Marks. Wait, really? Yeah. Vindicated. Wait, he can't do that. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't. You're probably fine with him doing that. I'm mad. <laughs> Intellectual that property. Could, that, could be, that could be money out of my pocket if I was in the different... Oh, yeah, you're right. No, he's got question marks. Sorry, I cut, then, then I, I'm, a, I'm a double villain for uh, cutting off this conversation. No, I'm happy that we proved me right. That rules. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But I also no, have to go back to the nonsense. Rick and Morty writers room because this is actually a running joke in the room that we and the butt of the joke is someone who we thought mis uh, appropriated the we th it, it doesn't matter. But I, I did wait. Did you I, have an elaborate joke? I have to send joke? three text messages when I get off stage and eat a lot of shit. Hell yeah! Did you have an elaborate joke premise that just came true before your very eyes? Came like, false, I think. No, no, no. It's 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 that we had a we had an in joke. We had to, somebody. We were having a conversation that somehow touched on that guy. Right. And then the person who described him as having question marks all over his suit was mocked, ridiculed, tarred, feathered. <laughs> 
because we all, none of us looked it up on the internet, and all of us, <laughs> all of us agreed just from our understanding of uh, fucking property I, I, IP law, right? That there's no way that must have been dollar signs. And fuck you! How could you confuse them for the Riddler, you idiot? Yeah. <laughs> and I need to buy that person a dog or something now. That's a fair barter. Anyways, I feel sorry. like they're owed, they're owed a dog. All right, so, I'm so, not... so Josh, you, you're you're in a casino. You're in Vegas, right? Yes, and Las Vegas. You, and you're you're a you're a card carrying socialist. You bet. And what is the uh, the impetus to sit down and play slots as as a socialist? Like, uh, like what, 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 because you, I'm going to steal this money from the, from the system and and. Uh, appropriate it to the to the masses. Or? It's the only honest form of capitalism. It's the only honest industry in capitalism is gambling because everybody knows you're gonna get fucked. Like <laughs> when you enter into it, they're like, "Yes, we're gonna fuck you," and you're like, "Cool, I'd love a limerita." And right, and you, then you and get like, free drinks while you're doing it. Right, and the idea is at the lottery is. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, like, in a socialist society or an anarchist society, even depending on the type of anarchy, that, that lotteries would happen given that they, they often use them to fund uh, uh, schools and stuff, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's, like, to. fascist lotteries like the Vanilla. Shirley Jackson one. we got to stay away from those. Oh, no, that could be good, though. Do you think... <laughs> do, do, I mean, I, I'm not a, a conspiracy guy, but do you think that people, like, at the casino go, okay, we got a real socialist coming? <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's 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 dressed like MacGyver. He goes on podcasts. (laughs) He's got a platform. Let's make this socialist rich on (laughs) casino (laughs) capitalist money. Guess what he's going to do? Go on on all these podcasts and talk about... What was the casino? Uh, The El Cortez. Yeah, now... (laughs) Everyone's going to go to Fremont, everyone's baby. Go to the El Cortez. But you know, it could be really good for us if you won it at the Meundies Casino. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see what I'm right. doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The messaging between so but socialism and casinos have the uh, it's not incompatible messaging. Both billboards say, "Hey, poor, uh, wishing you weren't." Uh, Come to a place that everyone like you comes. Right, except for in, in socialism, when it's done as like written as you're supposed to do it, no it one's supposed to win a jackpot. <laughs> well, but also nobody's <laughs> supposed to go bust. <laughs> you know, right, right, it would right. be like everybody ties, and then sometimes you win, and that's cool too. Right. They don't put that on the billboards, though. They don't. Right. They don't. They don't go. You might not go broke and end up sucking uh, dick for crack. I, 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 yeah, like, they, I mean they, you're not gonna. Yeah, they. they, they you, you that's still, a promise. You still can. You if still you can. want to. Well, yeah. yeah what if you can provide dick sucking and you need coke? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's, that's communism. How it works. That's communism. That's oh. bartering, my man. That's that's a that's the new economy. Yes. That's what Marx called seizing the means of production. It's according yeah. to my needs. We're slipping into this trope, though, where we do we always do this in political this conversation, where we tend to we hi, we uh, I'm gonna make up a new phrase in my drunkenness. We hyperize every every ideology because what we want to do is we want to do the you know we want to go like. Well, the socialist grabbing some potato chips. I see. How come you know? It's like when the reality I I would say is. Come on, we've 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 succeeded as a nation uh, by blending the right uh, ideologies and the right ratios, and we fail when we get tempted by, you know, to to you know, somebody grabs the conscience. It's like we need to fucking step on the faces of everyone who thinks that they're entitled to a fucking dollar that someone else made, and it's like that. That is the that's that's one gas pedal that can get pressed that fucks things up for everybody in the long term. And maybe arguably another gas pedal, though I don't know if in the history of this country we've ever pressed it so hard that we've been threatened. Is I think a lot of people would say we we have, but but like that that the the, the opposite idea is also a terrible idea. Like the idea that hey everybody come over here instead uh, don't don't well, if you're feeling weak just follow your instincts and line up and hang out. We got your back and and that that's the the fear is that that's gonna oh where are our uh, Alex P Keatons like who 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 among us will remember how to be savage. Right, yeah, I mean, the, a the board tr- with a nail in it. But like, the truth, yeah. I mean, we all learned in history class that it's good. Come on, we go through, the, like, the fucking shit happens, like, oil plummets through the floor, like, nations go into crisis, and then 
presidents rise up and say, everyone's got to get a job or like, you're going to do this for free. Is it like, like, like these moments of historical inspiration where we blend these concepts and then we have these words that excite people. Socialism, communism, you know, like it, it, it's come on, we 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 have so much socialism in our country right now. Yeah, that works for everybody. Yeah, right? yeah, like the the trash people and uh, like all these things, like municipal services, taxes. Were all, yeah, well, um, the police. I mean, <laughs> those are the those not, are not great ones. Uh, Libraries, fire department. Well, they're better. Yeah, than those a, ones are better. The, the police that we have are better than the good police. The, better I mean. than a privatized police force. Yes, the garbage. The the garbage service is better. You know, like, like we Robocop proved it. People, the the the. the the hardest core conservative is not going to start arguing with you that he thinks that 12 garbage trucks should show up and argue with each other about who gets <laughs> to take his garbage away from his house. He just wants his fucking garbage taken away, et cetera. Yeah. 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 And well, actually, to, to talk about what I'm working on right now, because I have all this free time now, I've devoted like it all to something called Measure B. Uh, you've definitely heard of it. How many <laughs> other people have heard of Measure B? Okay, that's Yay. cool. It's, it is a very small campaign. There's only a few of us working on it right now. Um, but essentially what it does is, it, you, you were talking about privatization, basically, right? Like the idea of like, oh, yeah, let's just let um, people whose motive is to make as much money as possible decide things that matter in people's lives. Right. Uh, and, and the so things that are ostensibly, sorry to derail you for a time, but the things that are ostensibly foundational to the pursuit of happiness. Right. Education, medicine. Right. Yeah, that's where we get into these debates. Because yeah. it's like, well, wait a minute. Is it part of being an American to, uh, 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 if you cut off your thumb, be able to get it reattached? Or is it is that a, something that only Mr. Howell on Gilligan's Island can have and Ginger can't because right. she hasn't made enough coconuts yet? Yeah, and, and I, I but, that was but a TV show in the 1970s. <laughs> 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 Mr. Howell was rich, and so Gilligan did stuff for him. It didn't make a lot of sense because Ginger was a movie star. But I guess she did, just didn't bring enough money in her suitcase. <laughs> it's right. like, what, don't you think Mr. Howell could have been like, I'm good for it, lovey? Yeah. All right, continue. Sorry. She could have used Measure B. <laughs> <laughs> she but but edu education may be slotting into that. So, so well, yeah. So, well, another thing that slots into that is finance, is money, is just I the think, idea. I think we talked about this one of the last times you were on is yeah. like the financing of the government that the banks are involved in. Sorry, yes. continue. Oh, this is the credit union versus. Uh, right, essentially. So, it's the idea of like a for profit bank versus a public bank. Measure B would be the first step towards a public bank. You get a groan from that guy. I, I thought that was a gasp. Oh, yeah. uh, it might be. I don't know. He just he got a, he he let out a bunch of. He's like, oh. He deflated. <laughs> yeah. Continue. Uh, so basically, what happens now is when you go and buy an ice cream cone, the city puts your tax dollars in a private bank, and that private bank uses your tax money to finance investments in uh, oil pipelines, in guns, in. Cigarettes, um, private prisons, including the very cages that separate undocumented children from their families. Desecrating native lands. Oh, absolutely. They love doing that they shit. They can't get enough of it. Um, uh, guys, if all of this happened every time I bought an ice cream cone, ooh, the planet would be over. Um, oh, but it is. <laughs> uh, but and it, also, the government needs to get financing from banks to do governmental stuff, yeah, like, like building a park. Right. And, the, and the banks can say, hey, we're not going to let you build this park and give you the money unless you make... Uh, Burning children legal, and so like where like or so they the charge like a you know a much higher interest right. like on you know student loans and on uh, credit card loans like you understand like interest payments are fucked and it's just extracting it's the labor banks from literally people. blackmailing the government right. yes because exactly. they realized they had the power to do so and since that happened we've dealt with like these horrible problems coming from money not being in line with what the public needs for a society. Right, and it plays into economic crises, right? Right. By, uh, because banks, and this is kind of shocking, they can just straight up lend out like 90% of their deposits um, to anything that they want, which is a pretty obvious flaw right staring at you in the system that everybody just agrees is fine. Right. Uh, that you can lend out 90% of the money you have. Like if I... Yeah, look into it. 
Yeah, okay. There's the uh, FDIC is is hopefully trying to help, you know, banks not come into problems where they uh, and in it, where they don't have the money to when there's like a massive run on the banks. Right. But, but you it know what only that goes is? so far. The FDIC is just taxpayers bailing out people. Right. So every time basically we finance all of this gambling that these total like translucent Sideways blinking millionaire dudes in New York. Uh, these are not my real beliefs. I'm just exaggerating uh, for comedic They're effects. They're real beliefs. I'm not going to like make a hard left turn and like, everyone's a lizard. Um, <laughs> but, Only an elite class of super lizards that yeah. rule from above. No, if everyone but, was a lizard, the lizard uh, agenda would be undermined. Some fucking asshole that was born into a specific family that makes them a billionaire is profiting off of the literal worst things in the world, and we are subsidizing our own extinction. Right. Measure B is the first step to stop that. Because instead, it would not extract all this money from the Los Angeles economy. It would keep it in the uh, Los Angeles economy and invest it specifically in things that we deem are good, right? And so uh, right now, City Hall is like really uh, taking our lead, which is fucking weird. <laughs> um, everybody the, wants it. Doesn't the police yeah. union want it? Yeah, everybody. everybody. It's kind of important for California, right? Because we basically, as a state, correct me if I'm wrong, California... It, it kind of like there's a lot of back and forth where it's like we give the landlord this much and the landlord owes us this much and blah blah blah. Right. But we're we're basically at this point in time, unless I'm wrong, we're, it kind of all comes out even. Meaning that now more than ever, California has that sort of power to be like, you know what? Yes. Uh, yeah. California is not in as much debt as it was like ten years ago, and um, right now is the exact time because of that sort of economic leverage for Californian cities to start doing this kind of thing. Uh, basically, what happens now is it's about $1.1 billion a year that we owe to banks uh, for the privilege of propping up their horrible industries and letting them uh, profit off of this. Uh, we owe them $1.3 billion a year. Those are service charges and wasted money. Yeah, interest and fees and right. shit like that. Right now, this is a fucking insane thing, but you're like, oh, it's 2018, that makes sense. Um, 50% of all infrastructure money in California right now goes directly to a banker's pocket. Um, that's like way too much percent. That's, yeah. You know what I mean? That's 50% <laughs> too much. We should yeah. probably, I, 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 I'm, 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 we're, on, we're on a good roll here. We've, we've, got, we've got the audience's attention, of course. They love it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ringmaster. My profit relies on me keeping these people locked into into my in addiction to my content. Some of them might be going, "Hey, Dan, what's what are you doing? Would you just feed me a bunch of numbers and a bunch of stuff?" <laughs> Here's the thing, though. <laughs> we're gonna wrap it. We're gonna we're gonna disguise it in a little uh, entertainment. We're gonna do a little. Um, I'm gonna be uh, Glip Glop, the uh, the uh, uh, ban bank. <laughs> I'm listening. I need you to do more than listen because I need your help really oh. badly. I, I I don't know how so to. So you're a bank. Well, I just I want to make this I want to make this I want to wrap this in a narrative and make it entertaining. So I don't provide you with a platform sure. so you can be like. I don't want to spoil it, but I foresee you going like, "Hey, clip clop, you can't take twenty one percent of that or whatever." And you kind of like we we put it on a spoon with some gumdrops on mm -hmm. it. And we fucking like, Dan, you know, Dan, you, you're you're topping from the bottom right now. And what if what if there's a a fun character called MCB, MCB, like for Measure B. All right, Measure B. Yeah, MCB could be the spokesperson. Right. Of if, Glip Glop the bank. He's the spokesperson of the situation. Well, Glip Glop's the bank. No, Glip Glop's probably a bad person. He sounds like, because he's a bank, right? Oh, okay. So MCB is our Greek chorus. Right, more or less. Okay. Because right. you guys are having a bad situation, and he shows you that there's a better way. Measure okay. B. All right, I, all right, all right. So I'm like a customer, and I'm upset with the bank. Can my name be Josh still, or does it have yeah, to be yeah, like Twaggle No, you, uh, Josh is great. Okay. But I'm Glip Glop. That's fair. I'm the bank. Okay. Okay. Now right. I want to be someone else. Well, no, be. Uh, can be... I be? Can I be uh, uh, Antonio Banderas? Yeah. Okay. You're you're actually the second person in in a month to to want oh. that. Hell, yeah. that seems like way too few. That's amazing. <laughs> he rules. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, Omar Camacho just 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 expressed a desire to 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 be him uh, a few weeks ago. All right. Well, yeah. So do you? you, you I, I, are we doing a scene and then it'll turn into like kind of a Hamilton type musical about financial? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Financial uh, mm -hmm. power. Okay. Sure. So I'll I'll set the scene. Uh, you haven't come in yet. Good. So, the original bankster. Dave, you're, I think, the, by the way, I think that's my trainer that called out the usury thing, and I think he's on your side. Look it up. Look up usury. I, I know when people yell things out, the primate instinct is like, shit, somebody wants to fucking kill me. What is he training you to do? <laughs> <laughs> Commit usury. <laughs> if you have to ask, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought you it was some sort of emotional thing. You should training. have been like, holy shit, I was going to ask what <laughs> happened. Hey, 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 oh, you look great. <laughs> Zach, are you up there? <laughs> and, uh, Is Zach McKeever up there in case we need beats for this Hamilton musical? All right. He says, sure. Okay. I, I assume the first song would be like me setting up my bank. Because sure, uh, and and uh, but you know. All right, I, Zach, I Zach, I want you to DJ this, uh, this Hamilton we wanna, musical. We want to like Glip Glop. Yeah. Well, we want to... Accept him, as right? A, yeah. Sorry, that's what I mean. Well, yeah. maybe if so, Glip so, changes from a private bank to a public bank, then we can accept oh, Glip Glop. Oh, right. Oh, he's a. He'll be a. Okay, good. I like that. Oh boy. It's kind of like a Book of Mormon, I assume. Like, like, like uh, it's exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll, I'll sure. Start, I'll, I'll start as a. Well, why don't? Well, why don't you be? A, don't be a customer then. Be. Uh, I'll. I'll be a villain. Uh, you. Why be, are you telling Antonio Banderas what to be in the scene? You be. You. You be. You be an employee of the bank. Okay, and I'm bringing the... This is your first yeah. day of work. Okay, and I'm like, whoa, this is all... Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because that's cool. more like Book of Mormon, and that's a hit. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is going to be as good as Book of Mormon. Yeah. It's going to make people vote for stuff, too. Yo. Oh! Glip glop! Oh, bank. Bank into America. Yeah. Oh, here come the finance. Ha, huh. yo. Flip the sign. Open for business. Business. Coast to coast. I got the most. All of the money comes through me like I was toast. I'm brown on the edges and white in the middle, but everybody dances to this bank's fiddle. Welcome aboard. It's your first day of work. Be a pro, don't be a jerk. Let me show you the ropes. Let me show you how it goes. I'll show you how to handle all the ladies and the bros and the non-binary customers. That's a growing demographic. Disposable income. Mm, they can get uh, any job they want. <laughs> ah, well, I'm Antonio Banderas, and I'm here to say... <laughs> I'm at work for my very Joe first Joe day. Is my, is my accent good or is my accent bad? It's great. It's good. Thank you. That's rad. <laughs> but you know it is not. This bank, it's all covered in snot. Morally. Oh. I, I feel like it's set up horribly. What do you mean? Don't you like your job? Why are you coming in here like a socialist snob? The bank works the way it works for the dollar. Yo, if you don't like it, holler. <laughs> <laughs> At your girl. Your girl being Hillary. I don't know. <laughs> the thing about you that you do not understand is that you are a bank and I am a man. <laughs> I see what lies before me just sorrow and I'm kind of horny <laughs> but but for justice and what I want is for you to give more of your profits to little kids so they can grow up in a world that's true and not sunk underneath the ocean blue oh. okay wait, so that'll be okay because uh, yeah we don't uh, uh, what I certainly must say I've never spoken to a new employee with your brand of Spitfire. You never before hired an employee with my brand of Spitfire. Hmm. Now, Ting. If, if, <laughs> if we weren't making more money by, uh, through our Latinx outreach tax subsidy, then we would, by firing you, I don't have to tell you what I'd do. However... 
It just so happens I need a man like you in my office. <laughs> Whoa. Like permanently or just temporarily as we talk in a place that isn't right here on the banking floor? To speak to, yes. Oh. I, because there's things I need to mm, read you into, as they say. I will happily join you in your office, which I assume we are walking to now as I am yes. saying this. Yes, yes. I like. I glide as the as the the because it's Broadway, so the the uh, the walls are going up on strings, and the uh, new walls are coming down on strings. I'll learn the terminology. I think we could use a man like you at our upcoming conference. We're sending a few candidates out to Florida for a global banking initiative. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds wonderful, Florida. I love Florida. I love uh, tan, middle-aged white women. <laughs> and jello shots. Yes, well, just re keep representing us the way we like to be represented so we don't lose our subsidy, and you'll keep your job. And there may be a promotion in it for you. But do me a favor. Put a clamp on all this uh, commie talk you were spewing when you came in. But what if I told you? that in doing some of these commie things, we, this bank here, could keep more money instead of putting it away into <laughs> other places. <laughs> Keeping more money is called profit, and I'm sure we figured out how to turn one of those by now. You would think so. Ah, will he ever understand? <laughs> Be... <laughs> well, I'm Antonio Banderas, and I'm here to say it's still Antonio Banderas in every way. Just had to remind you that up front. Here's the thing. No, I'm gone. You're doing. I thought you were doing like oh, a solo. Yes, of course. This is all in my head. This is you explaining to the audience how you feel so I'm that they're on your monologue, side. I'm in a monologue, so don't hog my moment in the spotlight. It feels so right, right here, between you and me. Just me. Just him. Just me. I'm just him. Between you and me and just me, there should be life and liberty, and not banks that just create poverty. But that's just between you and me. Just him. Me. Boy, oh boy, I didn't think I would rap. Honestly, i surprised it's not crap. But yeah. here's the thing that I want you to hear. Vote for Measure B or I'll cut off my ear. Oh, shit. Oh, no, my hearing's going. <laughs> it's, the, it's the sound of a, an airplane landing in Florida. Oh, yes. Because we're crossing a threshold. Oh, and yes. we cut the cut the music the, bit. The, the, so the. Oh no! Um, you're in Florida, but your ears hurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, Florida, moderately priced beverages everywhere. <laughs> Fast casual dining. Excuse I, me, please get out of my way. I can't. Wait to, oh, oh, oh! oh I'm, I'm sorry. Into you. Oh, Let me oh. help you pick up these files for oh. the banking conference. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sure to be late now and get fired. Wait a minute. I'm worried about being fired for other reasons at this very banking conference. Maybe you and I are very alike. Well, uh, since we're both obviously going to take different cabs, um, we're both going to be late. Uh, uh, wait, wait. But what if we took one cab together? <laughs> this one right here. Wow, what a deus ex machina. Hello. Hello, do you guys want to get into my taxi cab? For some reason, I am a Frenchman. Uh, he doesn't seem sure about his uh, accent either. L I trust him. This Has anyone told you, sir, that you sound a little bit like Ren from Ren and Stimpy? <laughs> yes, every day of my life. Well, I have no choice but to share this cab, but it runs counter to everything my parents taught me about how to use... Madam, you have wait. every choice. You do, you do not have to get into any cab that you do not want to get into. Just wait. Look at me now and understand that, yes, if we competed individually, maybe you would get a cab faster than hearing me give this emotional speech. But if we work together and share the cab, 
like two people who share maybe a planet and that planet's resources, maybe we'd get there on time and not get fired, but prosper. I, I'll do it right now and think about it later. Be That's great, person whose name I don't know yet. It's Wendy. Wendy. Wait, did you say Wendy or Wendy? Wendy. Okay, sorry, go back into your thing. I'm sorry I interrupted. My name is Wendy. <laughs> Hear me blow. Forever, I often know what others know. Oh, oh, oh. It's the I, winds of change. <sighs> For me, it's the winds of fear. Uh, blow, blow those winds away. <sighs> oh, they're going, they're going away now. If only I had your confidence and your wisdom, Antonio. If only I could think twice before I speak. <laughs> if only I had your long black locks and piercing eyes. If only I had your body and yours mine to keep. <laughs> Why don't we share, share them, them in a collective, collective of body, body parts? <laughs> And, and qualities, <laughs> so we can both, both draw upon them, them when. Oh, is we... that a cab? <laughs> Are you open? Hey, we're taking. No, that's ours, sir. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> let's get. Let's get yeah, in. Yeah, let's it. get Come in on. the cab. Oh, oh, that was... oh, oh. <laughs> I'm taking you to the uh, economic conference. I understand, right? Yes, this is the Holiday Inn. All yes, right. please. Uh, uh, we're going to be big people in the banking world one uh, day. All right, well, actually, uh, it was next door to the airport. You didn't even have to get into my cab. Hmm. Didn't huh. we, though? You know what? I don't even want to accept any money from you because it feels like the love that you have provided the world is enough to sustain a whole community. Oh, gosh. What is it about you? Ever since I met you, it's like goods are being exchanged for services with no standardized <laughs> currency. <laughs> Uh, people tell me that all the time. <laughs> hey, Wendy. Antonio. Why don't we, if you mind, if you are, in, uh, in, <laughs> if you are enthusiastically consenting, <laughs> hold my hand? I know we did it already, but I'm asking yeah. again to prove that I am a gentleman. Okay. And why don't we walk together into a new world of sharing, banking, and our hearts. Well, we gotta go to the conference, right? Yeah, I, I meant uh, metaphorically, but literally, oh, yeah. yes. I mean, <laughs> let's walk directly into that Holiday Inn Express. If you're asking, can we sit together at the seminar? Yeah, of course. Oh, cool. I guess I have some abandonment issues, so <laughs> I didn't really read that right. Screech! Hello, this is me again, the cab driver. Oh, I overheard you saying yes. you want to go into the seminar? Yes. Uh, you have to go all the way around the back of the convention center. Let, hop back in the cab and I'll take you there right now. Okay. It, it'll, we be, uh, it'll be on the house. It'll be mutu mutual reciprocity. It is not based on uh, capitalism or any sort of uh, like, like uh, agreed upon finance. It's just the fact that you have made me smile and I will give you a free ride around the back of the seminar. Thank you so much for explaining that to us. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. I just want to be totally on, on the table about this. Absolutely. All right. Let, let's Antonio, get back into the car. I had abandonment issues once too. Really? Uh, can I give you some advice? Sure. Abandon them. <laughs> Abandon those issues of abandonment. I'm going to leave them behind. I promise you. Let them be afraid. I will. To be left alone. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, being here right now in the place where we first met, outside of this cab, makes me know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you share your life with me? Oh. I'm afraid to abandon him. But I'm also afraid to be abandoned. 
And I'm not afraid to abandon those fears. I do. Yes! She said yes! Oh, no. Let's skip the whole banking conference. There's nothing they can teach us. Let's open our own bank based on Cyclone B. What's the thing called? Cyclone B. Oh, boy. No, yes, on Cyclone B. No, it's a very common uh, misunderstanding. As the cab driver, I overheard that. It is certainly not Cyclone B. Well, yes, on Cyclone B. That's a gas that was used in concentration camps. Okay, very different. That, yeah. Yes. I don't know why. Why out of back. all the B <sighs> things with that come into my? Because you're feeling so many things right now. We're getting married. It's because I'm from Wyoming. Yes, of course. Uh, only you get targeted Facebook ads that say only people yeah, who no, are from I Wyoming thought, that compare things to like this. I thought men that like you were uh, gonna kill me. Oh yes, no, that's your fear, and you're going to abandon that fear. <laughs> Leave it behind and come I'll ever more near. <laughs> We are going to get married and form form my form 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 yeah form a good public <laughs> Good show, man. Good show. Yeah. Hey, great show, man. Oh, man, no. Super great. Oh, great show, man. Yeah, well, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, I guess if for, they want one, us to. One more time yeah. for Michael Flatley, everybody. Uh, Michael Flatley. Uh, well, I mean, it's. <laughs> so that's what a public bank is. I mean, nothing, nothing bad happened to them. They just met and fell in love. I... Yeah, some stories are small. All right. Well, I don't want to. But if you guys got into my cab, I was going to abduct you both and take. That's what it was seeming like. Yeah, there there was going to be an. It was a trick. I could feel that tension. Oh. Yeah. I was going to find out that you were a traitor to the bank. Oh. He's a double agent working for the thing, and it's. It was. It was. It was very. Well, he's been. uh, You know, Jeff spends a lot of the time that he should be here doing this show out on the road with professional improvisers, so he, he knew where he was going, and we didn't. No, but you guys are falling in love and singing, and there's no way I, I thought they it. would laugh at that. I didn't know what people would be like, ooh, burn. It was, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> I thought it would be funny. Ooh, improv slam. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset. <laughs> I thought it would be a funny joke. <laughs> but I think maybe some of the people are resentful of you for being so absent lately. Yeah. Or maybe they're racist. They hate Brandon. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Only your vote will decide. <laughs> the Just B is for Brandon. Make Sometimes. Oh, shit. That's measure B? Yeah. Measure B is Brandon. I thought it was Ben Darris. I, I also <laughs> thought... Oh, that should have come up. You are good at improv. Well, yeah. Was... <laughs> measure B is... Okay, now forgive my ignorance. <laughs> So, do you know what a public bank is yet? <laughs> <laughs> Let's start there. It's, but is Measure B, it's a, is, it, is it a, it's not a legal referendum. It's not something that's up for vote. It is. Yeah, up yeah, for yeah. Vote. It is. Yeah, so it, it, it's a very small change to the city's charter very that small. makes it legal to create a Los public Angeles. bank. Yes, it is currently illegal to make a public bank. Right. And the change would make it. Legal. Oh, so yeah. simple, right? Yeah, basically. Very it, simple. It doesn't Too commit simple, any money. In fact. It's like when we it's like it's like but saying hey, porn way. stars don't have to wear condoms. <laughs> Sorry, bad yeah. example. I mean they, they don't. But it is true when we had when we had our friend Riley Reed up here, even though that's a, it's it's easy to cloak something in the guise of like, we're just trying to keep people safe. No. But uh, but you can also be like a th- it's like, oh fuck, you know, oppression and stuff. It's like it's not like porn stars are saying like we want to be unsafe. It's right. more like keep this uh, yeah. So if everyone had socialized it, it medicine, it was a, it was you'd a, check a really all dumb time, uh, parallel yeah. for me to draw. <laughs> it's really stupid. Um, I think um, it was the same measure though. Well, I think <laughs> I it literally was. think it was the yeah, same measure letter. be the condom law. I think I think it was the same letter. I and it was, was pushed by the guy who's pushing Proposition 10. Yeah, really wild, because Prop 10 is great, and is that good. dude fucking sucked. Yeah. Uh, but he saw the light. There were a bunch of activists that basically were like, yo, uh, Prop 10 is good because rent control is tight, and people shouldn't, landlords shouldn't be able to jack up 
uh, prices when people move out. Like, they shouldn't be able to do vacancy bullshit and, like, jack up the rent however much they want and keep people out of the neighborhood. Is there a lot of... Uh, so, yes on 10 also. Yeah, 10 yes rules. on 10. Is there, is there, sorry, I didn't even... I was, cause I was thinking about my next thing that I wanted to ask. That's good. Um, but that's fine. I'm sure <laughs> measured... They, they, but is there... What I wanted to ask is, because we're... Like, if you even go to a bar and you aren't on Twitter like me, mm. like, I'm still... I'm like right now being flooded with imagery that's like proposition this and, mm -hmm. and and referendum that and all this stuff and it's like and we already know like if we're if we're remotely savvy enough to get jaded about it that that you never you have no idea what the truth is now at this point it's just like it, 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 what i want to ask you about measure b sure. is for the for the folks that are listening like that are in los angeles what can they expect to see on tv or hear from their friends who have saw something that someone else saw on tv that's like the most common like the reflexive opposition. like nut kick like the, oh well i heard that's for just people right. that want to have right. elephants eat their dick well yeah, i yeah. heard we don't even know what's going to happen if we vote yes on measure b I, well, we might be unleashing the gates to the apocalypse <laughs> because we don't know on paper what it is shut up dude don't tell <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. that is the opposition. That's the biggest opposition. Is we don't know what could happen. Maybe demons. Right. right. Pretty much. There's. I'm, there's that. I'm, I'm just glad we chose this opportunity to talk about this uh, on a podcast that will air two days <laughs> after. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 You're right. Dead. You're right. Well, we're talking to. Well, that's. Hey, actually, there's a bunch of fired up people yeah. here. It yeah. makes. It makes. We more, have at least five thousand people here tonight at the. the, the at the Diamond Tap link letter that will certainly go out and vote tomorrow. You're fa too fair enough, Jeff. Did you call me a douche? <laughs> touche. I called Did you, you touche. Call me a douche? I called you touche because I started. I, I aborted a touche. Okay. It was uh, a shitty touche. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Uh, however, it actually kind of makes sense because we're talking to the 38 people in Los Angeles that come actually to see the show. Yeah, they I mean, love like, it. There's there? more than 38. Thank Four you. Four more. Yeah. <laughs> Four more audience members. Four more audience members. Don't chant that. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, the other thing uh, is people are like, oh, what, the city's going to run a bank? How can they run a bank? Because they can't. Burp, 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 burp. Uh, and uh, to that... <laughs> I've uh, always said that. <laughs> I, that's basically, literally, the guy in the ballot, if you read the ballot, um, the argument against Measure B, burp, the guy burp, burp. who is... A, he, he looks exactly like you think he would. His name is Jack Humphreyville, and he has n no neck at all whatsoever. Jack Humphreyville? Jack Humphreyville. And he literally, in the um, ballot, in the argument against Measure B, he goes, It's baloney! And there was, there was a thing that ran on KCRW today that interviewed a bunch of us organizers for B and him. And he's like, it seems like they're getting stoned. <laughs> like, those are, that's he, really what it is. He like, won't stand no for baloney, you know. He but doesn't stand for It seems like baloney. the only slippery slope I could think of, I would have to go into, like, shadow run logic or be like, are you saying that in the year 2040, Los Angeles could be a corporation right. turning more profit than well, San Diego and go to war with them? No, but seriously, like, <laughs> so we want to, you should discuss that because people are worried about that. That right. is a fear people have, but the reality is... It's a fear it's, I would love to have. Right. <laughs> right. I would love La the opportunity. Los Angeles is a trillionaire? Right. And I think it would be better if, uh, do you guys have a real vision for what it's going to look like because a lot of the push has been oh we don't have any strong it's only we're making it legal to talk about now so then going forward if it passes we'll be able to in city councils discuss what we want the shape of this to be and actually legislate it into existence so we're already doing that right so yeah. what 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 how is that process going to work and how is it going to prevent us from like uh just being taken over or whatever who's right. going to govern it what so the important thing right is first and foremost um Right now, the people in charge of the banks, you have zero uh, means of democracy there. You right. can't call Companies. up Lloyd Blankfein right and be now like, the, right now Lloyd. The, right now, the city just has to get in line with you at right. Bank of America yes. and open an account. Yes, exactly. And, and, and it's like, yeah. whatever, and like oh, do I get the Ann Getty's checks or what? Yeah. Um, shout out, Ann Getty's personalized checks. I had them. Oh, yeah. Um, the babies are so cute. They're in flower pots. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> What would happen is there would be a very strict charter um, that we, so city council is letting us organizers have a seat at the table. Um, we are also working on state legislation that would need to be passed in order to make right. this a possibility. So in doing that. Because are, statewide, it's also illegal, right? Yes. Right. Um, but other cities have already 
they've made because movements. of their charters, they're able to do what Measure B would do for LA, right. Oakland, and San Francisco specifically. They're already working on it. They're already working on it. They've they've like they're like okay, we've got task force, and it's not shitty bankers. They're like letting the organizers lead the way because everybody's like, oh, this saves us billions of dollars, right. and we get to fill in potholes. So it's kind of okay that we're talking about it on our podcast. Um, well, I hope so. Because it's, it's like great. medical marijuana a couple of years ago. It's like an issue that's, you know, maybe well, the, the referendums will be different numbers and things. But yes, this it's going to start. This is like a harbinger. Hopefully, this can be a domino effect. So right. what happens next is um, there's the... It's just a slick harbinger. Um, so what happens next is the, uh, the, the charter has to be very strict, and it has to say... We will not invest in oil pipelines or private prisons mm. or fucking baby cages or any of that shit. I can't. It might say I literally can't believe I have to write baby cages, but here we are. <laughs> uh, baby cages. No to that. I never thought I'd have to not check this box. <laughs> right. Never thought this box would have to be an option, but here we are. Uh, and so, th and then also prioritize. Right. Like if we're going to not. Uh, all die in 40 years, like the UN's report just said might happen. Um, They've been saying that for eight <laughs> years. <laughs> First it was 48 years, then it was 47. <laughs> Seven years later, now it's 40 years, the world's gonna end, but maybe if you do something in 20, you could maybe... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I went jogging the other day. It was warm, or I'm sorry, cold. <laughs> <laughs> Weather changes, people. All right, sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> but if we, again, there's something about pajamas that has made you. <laughs> no, it's uh, you, alcoholism. I'm so drunk. Okay, well, <laughs> that rules. But you're wearing your alcoholism like micromodal fiber right yeah. now. <laughs> I hope that Meundies can see this at a it, compatible. Yeah. It's three times point. softer than can, normal alcohol. Can, can we real quick? Can we, can we take a? Can we get a momentary nipple update? Where, where are your nipples at? It's fine, actually. So nipple I think experiment. that's a good advertisement too. Hey, do you? Are you a nipple guy? Um, Don't worry about do it. Do you? Do you? Do you get horny when soft things touch your nipples? Are you therefore worried about wearing a Meundy uh, uh, onesie? Uh, I'm Dan Harmon. Uh, I've been I've been She's sitting recording up here. An ad. Wearing uh, draped in fabric, and I've been talking about banking for an hour. <laughs> I ain't got no hard on. <laughs> Me undies. I ain't got no hard on. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep like a baby. <laughs> baby ain't got no hard on. <laughs> Maybe we'll go back to the drawing board on the baby one. Uh, but anyway, if we're gonna mobilize enough capital to not all die in 40 years, we're gonna need to do it like. A, buy a lot of money in the billions, and a public bank, after five years, will be able to renew, like, we're talking renewable energy for whole neighborhoods, solar panels, batteries, all that shit, because we're taking billions that were going to bad stuff and putting it to good stuff. Morally, it's pretty black and white. Right. I, I was, I, you know, like, I remember Sarah Silverman talking about this years ago, and there was a couple, there was a, it, 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 this is sort of a cousin of what divestment. We were talking about, yeah, divestment. That's what she was talking Whereas about. Like, get it out of get it out of your nationally franchised yep. banks and put it into credit unions, yes. which I have not done yet, and I should do. You should, because I've scared my accountant to yell at me. But 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 uh, you got to be afraid but, of an accountant your whole but life. But the idea there is that hey, <laughs> if your bank, God <laughs> bless their soul, they don't have to be evil to be following the marching orders of like we're supposed to make more money than the bank across the street, which is also an international bank. So of course your funds are going to tend to end up right. aerosol misted you know, across the planet. You know, I've heard Dan, that, that uh, Josh has invested all of his five hundred thousand dollar winnings from the casino into uh, mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Sealy, wait, wait. Are you, at, or at his house. I'm oh. Casper, dude, oh, the oh, friendly oh, boy. Casper, sorry, Casper. <laughs> That's me. It's, I'm the mattress guy. I put, no, I, I, I put all of uh, my Rick and Morty merchandising money in one blue apron. The, <laughs> the bluest apron of all, because there's no better investment than a meal delivered to your home in pieces that you then <laughs> assemble. <laughs> I got have, have like, the satisfaction of an of an adult while remaining a child. <laughs> it's like get, Korean barbecue, but for other genres a, of food. <laughs> it's it's yeah. <laughs> it's the same lifestyle you're used to, yeah. but 
We have your credit card number, but you do half the work, too. <laughs> From a distance, you'll look like a grown-up. Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't have time to pick and choose your own fucking things, baby. Take the box. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Think of it as adulting wheels. <laughs> Don't have time to check the cabbage? <laughs> Don't have time to know whether you should buy cabbage? Uh, uh, we will give you a Honey, box. did you check cabbage today? There will be a bag of cabbage in it what about, that will what, say, pour me into a skillet. What about a new, a new service that picks you up like a Lyft or an Uber or a Postmate or a Grubhubs or whatever, and, and they, there's just an adult-sized shopping cart that you get to sit in like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that would be amazing! And you get to, you get to go through a farmer's market and learn how to like. Buy. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a now this guy's talking yeah. about fucking like. God damn it! You it's could a, do a cheaper a one. Giant that's a Lily Tomlin shopping cart where you get to remember. You put your. You sit facing a fucking dude who's like, or 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 whatever, a, a yeah. parental figure, yeah. uh, who, who who who's like, well, what do you like? <laughs> and, 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 and you and you're like encouraged. You're encouraged to be like. They tell you like they're they're like, do not. You are not here. To uh, please this person, like you're, we want you to cry, throw a tantrum, <laughs> like like test us, test us, yes. and it's like they're starting, they just wheel you around, and they go like, do you like Lucky Charms? And they're like, no. <laughs> And you just get to like fucking. Can you? I have so much rage and shame in me right now that would be exercised by that. I'm, I'm not. I know it sounds like a big fucking joke, but I'm so. And I know it's not really viable as a financial institution. <laughs> but that sounds. I got some money. So, I would pay Let's do it. so much. I would be, if, if they said like, "Have you ever? Have you ever gone gr grocer grocer dolting or?" <laughs> Like, what about like, wait, what about like the Uber pool version of that? Would it be like a double wide so everybody gets to kick their legs out? Yeah, you do it with or friends did, and you get to like pedal the cart, like one of those beer. Uh, if you pay desk. less, they have to be just in the cart and they get like carrots put on them or whatever. Oh, how amazing would it be if the like the person was a giant <laughs> robot? That was the just adult. like mom legs from like Muppet Babies yeah, or whatever. Was, and you could like throw just, like, food at it and go like, <laughs> fuck you, bitch, fuck you! <laughs> I don't want to go to school tomorrow. But don't like, yell, but the whole, Daniel. You're sitting on just this wire mesh bench with your best friends yeah. who like group onto this experience and you, you <laughs> pedal and you go like, let's go. So what do you guys want to do? And you just go, let's go to the beer aisle. And, then, and it's like, give us beer. And the robot's programmed to go like, you're not old enough. Blue be blue blue. And, and you're just like, fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Are you sure you meant to talk to your mother like that? Dan Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Harmon party. <laughs> Dan Harmon party guest one. Dan Harmon party. Were any of you asked to be born? No! We weren't asked to be born. I'm so happy my dumb idea got this much traction. That's so good. <laughs> I'm trying. I want. Genius. I mean, that's that is like 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 fucking to sit. I like like. I think we all had a visceral memory, except maybe a couple people that are like M must be nice. Uh, <laughs> and I don't. I don't want to hear their story. But but like. <laughs> but 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 like that that like that feel. Like, I just I forgot. You know, because it's, like, like, it's not something that celebrated it. But it's like holy shit. Like putting your little tushy in a fucking shopping cart and wheeling your crabby little ass around and a asking what you like and don't like. It's not like you got anything that you wanted, right? Like, like, like it's but it's actually the agency is what's delicious. It's, it's like, you're just being able to go like, I want bananas. You want, we got bananas. Like, Those are green. They turn yellow eventually, <laughs> says you. You know, you know you it's just the right to be a little prick. I don't mean to like burst the bubble, but I feel like with like the right amount of mushrooms, you could do this from your very home. <laughs> Well, virtual reality, I, that that's could be a huge... It's, it's sort of like, like remember in, in the 70s, I remember references like like primal scream therapy, you know? Like, 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 like you know, we, we make fun of everything, but it's like, I'm telling you, man, I, I've been through some shit this year. I, 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 I'm aware of the fact that I have not been through nearly as much shit as almost anyone listening. <laughs> I, that is not how I, how I measure shit, uh, uh, is by your measurement. I, I, but I, my point is, that, like, I've been through some shit this year that most notably, I'm, I, I, I can't 
can't talk about. And, and, it, and it builds this fucking... My therapist has told me so many weeks in a row, she's like, are you going to go get a drink? Are you going to medicate this? And I'm like, probably. <laughs> like, bet no, ain't no one invented nothing better. Like, 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 uh, I, I tell, like, like, she see, did. It's called weed, dog. Well, we, no, I don't know, dude. We, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want, I don't want to just from the hip like n negate that because sometimes look, it says that, no cops on it. That's more of a crapshoot for me, where it's like I t I hit the wrong weed at the wrong time and the wrong amount, and then all of a sudden I'm like, what are you doing? You're, you know, like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, but bo booze is as old as a fucking cowboy biting a belt where you suck a snake venom out of his titty. I, it's. <laughs> And then he gives you a free gun. It's yeah. it's just fucking brute force. That, that two was by four across the head. Fucking, you're drunk now. You the trouble being that you, as my therapist says, she's like it's a preservative. Like what do we do with shit? And it's like sometimes she's a little clever about this stuff. But I think it's like it's like yeah, it it does it it, it preserves it. Like I have no place to put my rage. I'm like I'm like punching shit. I got bloody knuckles. Like I, I I'm like I'm like every once in a while I'm erupting into this rage. And I think that it's like sooner or later I'm gonna put it somewhere, and uh, it could be a place that hurts me or 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 another person. And I, I feel like actually like we must all feel that constantly, where it's like, well, how how when do I get to shit my pants and bed? <laughs> I just think it's a wonderful like 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 actually maybe that's what virtual reality could be. Is like you throw these tantrums, you just go like I'm a baby. I That's mean, what this podcast was for me up until this last year. This is where I came to sit. This is ask these guys; they'll tell you they've been pushing me in a shopping cart. <laughs> Damn, uh, Harmon. And I've been I've been going, give me Fruit Loops, and the, you guys have been like, what do you mean? Do you want to be socially conscious? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Depends if I have to or not. Um, and then, but then, like, there was this marking point of like January 2018, where it was like, okay, strategically and hell and, and, and for every reason in every column, Dan, you're not allowed to say what you're feeling and thinking. And what is a tantrum? That it's it's like it's the most obnoxious, horrible thing, and we associate it with children. And we're like, you piece of shit, you should never look. Look at that fucking. And we bl and we look, you're in an airport and you hear a kid going like, ah, ah, ah. like 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 we hate them. We we should hate them. It's like terrible, <laughs> terrible little people. They're having the fucking tantrum in the middle of an airport. Like our species, maybe that's the, the that's the next wheel, is like, can we find, because what are we having well, right now, politically, we're having tantrums, tantrums over, everyone's having a fucking tantrum. I mean, so, okay, a couple of things. One, um, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I we'll get there, though, we'll uh, get there. Um, rage <laughs> cage, rage cage. It's, uh, it's a concept that's like Japanese therapy that was very hilariously used in the show Delocated, which is like a criminally underrated show. Uh, and it's a just a room that they set up, and they just give you a fucking hammer, and it's just like a sink and, and a fucking t old TV and a, oh, oh, and, and, you and can I thought like plates. another person. I'm like, wait, I don't. No, want no, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, dude, I'm not, they I'm do not this a billionaire. Thing. It's called murder. <laughs> you drink I'm only their a millionaire. Blood. I can't. I got. Yeah, can't, you're I Peter Thiel. I can't kill with impunity. Um, no, it's uh, it, it's it's just stuff. It's property, which is not violence. Uh, it's vandalism when property is destroyed, and therefore it's fine. Yeah, but is anyone whatever? I'm not gonna poo-poo that. Thank you for sharing. So there's that. With that. Me. Then the other thing I would say it's is, fake. like politically speaking, at least. Uh, sorry to be Uncle fucking socialism, but. <laughs> If we get rid his of his name is Uncle Stalin. At least he by apologizes. The way. <laughs> if we get rid of all the horrible things that we are willingly participating in, and also just make things better in the way that we absolutely know is possible, then everybody wouldn't feel like screaming all the time. Well, you just feel like a crazy person because you're like, we all know better than this. Well, can I bring up a thing that I'm really jealous of our forebearers of, which is that, and maybe this is the oversimplification that happens when you you look backwards because maybe it wasn't simple back then, but like. All these historical uh, chapters that we look at counterculturally, it's always the people that are unashamed versus the people that are ashamed. And we don't have that culture war going on right now. We have two different kinds of people that are both like like willing to engage in shame and fear, arguing with each other about which type of shame should pay, which type of dividend and which amount. And it's like, how are you going to win that fight? Like, there's got to be some way to fucking move this 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 line so that it's like, 
like the, in that classic tradition of like, look, man, I don't it's like like you can fucking make fun of everybody you want. You can like harass every anyone you want, but if you're harassing them, they're on my side. I don't fucking care. Like I am not signing up for this Boy Scout troop where everyone dresses the same and doesn't have any fun and let the enemy say, "No, we have fun." And let them prove it because they can't. <laughs> Hey man, because uh, they're that not is fun. happening. Wearing but they Fred can Perry. prove that they have fun when they're trolling us and watching us hey dance man. like monkeys. When so, we're going so, like, what? Oh, 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 someone told me that there's something outrageous over here, and they're laughing all the way to the fucking troll bank. Like, it's like we got to take uh, that. I hate power. that bank. Vote no on the troll bank. <laughs> <laughs> that pays nothing. We gotta we gotta figure out how to put that Ugh. in the hands of the city. Ugh. You, it's such as the troll bank just traffics in like Pepe Bitcoin. We gotta get, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta answer three riddles before you can get a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> so the bank's gonna be under a bridge, I know. <laughs> On well, the nose. I think like the thing that they're now delighting in is like just overt racism because that's, they have kind of been retreated to a, a point where it's like, well, I guess we gotta take pride in this because, uh, you know, Taylor Swift is mad at us and. <laughs> Kanye yeah, stop really being into thought. politics now, you know. Well, so, yeah, there's a tr there's going to be a treasure trove to the extent that we progress to the point where ten years ago everyone was racist. Then that means that everyone can now go back ten years and find something racist you said, which we should all be mindful of and go, yeah, shit changes. I was fucking, I said shit that is bad ten years ago, but we are in this mode, I think, of like. That, well, my only point, I'm not even trying to say, you know what we need to do? I, it only came up because, but. talking about tantrums, I think the reason why tantrums are so exciting to me right now is because actually we're constantly throwing them online at each <laughs> other. Even people that are on our side, we are, yell we are just frothing at the mouth. And if you told a Martian what level of technology we were at and then said, you know, they, they would say, oh, we, we, so... We've achieved... Uh, Tantrum technology. Wait, wait, wait. Well, if you told them we've achieved the technology where anyone from any device, no matter what their income level, basically, like with the, for the price of a fucking book of matches, you could basically have an opportunity to type anything anywhere and it would be seen by everyone, depending on whether or not anyone thought it was worth reading. That all sounds to me like the Martian would go, oh, so you probably have a lot less frothing at the mouth and fucking crazy tirades, right? And it's like, and then you go, no, the opposite. And the, the, the Martian would go, well, then something must be wrong well, that, you, so that you're not new. telling me. The technology's so new. We've never before been so plugged into what's happening exactly everywhere. And like our brains aren't used to like being like, hey, here's this horrible thing happening in a country I'm just telling you about. For the first time ever, you're going to learn about a brand new country because of a horrible thing that's happened. All that information is that new, in but, the, but something that's not new is something that a lot of our parents like kept telling us in kindergarten teachers, which is like... If you don't have if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you don't like like golden rule shit that we think goes out the window because we're looking at something that that excites us, that traumatizes us. We we believe that there's a deal breaker that's present in well, it, but yeah, but it's on my phone and it's like no motherfucker, that's exactly the point where you're being tested. Right. Well, it's because you're not looking at a human being and getting the facial recognitions of like oh you're a person. Yeah, you're not going to get your gonna... ass kicked, for instance. Right. You're not going to get punched in the face you're not gonna have to not make eye contact with someone that's more powerful than you all this all this shit that we should <laughs> the be the three worst things we should be ashamed of uh, as far as incentivizations to express ourselves or not and that, that's another reason why we're being tested and, and trained by this technology it's it's like like oh i just watched a guy get shot to death on a street and i watched the cops gun tremble in his hand like i like and then and then i and then i have a bad day at work and then my therapist goes like yeah but don't you think your body knew you saw that and 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 we're like yeah but i didn't talk about it i didn't retweet it i didn't do anything. Yeah. she's like yeah but you're you fucking took it in you're being traumatized now it's not like we need to turn our backs on that but it's like we are currently acting like it's normal to watch people get shot and killed. Like, it's normal to wake up every day to the news that everyone's a piece of shit and that we're all going to die, which may or may not be true. I'm not saying that's a lie, uh. but it's fucking weird messaging to get when you wake up, and I'm telling you, we didn't get it when I was a kid every Wait, day. Fred Durst didn't come I, on the I, fucking I got TV. the message when I was your age that Snoopy uh, hated Mondays, I, like, like, depending on... Well, you the, got that message wrong. I, it, 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 it's Garfield. It, 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 there was, there was, 
<laughs> you got it that we had just kicked the Kaiser's ass. In the- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Snoopy hated Mondays too. Die by fire! <laughs> Whoa, speaking of down fire. Downvote, downvote! Speaking of fire, you're really haunting the F house, dude. Oh, man, haunting the F house. No? You're no. H in the Too fizzle. Many times. Too many times. Too uh, many anyways, times. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm, I, it, it, it's tantrum, tantrum technology. That's what we need. We need, we need yeah. primal scream assisting technology, I think, like truly, because I'm telling you, I'm still walking around. I can now measure it by therapy because my therapist will ask me, what's happening in here? I have a column of rage inside of me that I can measure and observe, and I don't have to act on it because I'm 45. I can just let it sit and burn. But I know when it's zero. I know when I'm like a, a fucking kite in the wind. Oh, and I'm like, whoa, he, oh, Pearl Jam and lyrics. And blah, blah. I, like, like, I, I, feel Pearl it, Jam? I feel it every once in a while. You, be, you become uh, at drunk Eddie Vedder? But what, it what keeps... Kite Eddie Vedder. It keeps filling up. It fills up. And then you can feel it. You don't... It's... it's, it's, it's and you can you can punch a wall and have it really not go down. Right. There is. Did you really punch a wall and really bloody your knuckles? I'm like, punching. I've been punching. I have punched more walls this year <laughs> than I punched the year I got divorced. Like 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 I and 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 it's been in the last couple of months, and it's been because of outrage uh, about shit that I uh, can't talk about. And it's largely been about that meta fact that I can't fucking talk about it. So I punch a fucking wall because what the f- what else am I going to do? The alternative would be to pollute my relationship with Cody, to pollute my uh, my workplace. To where do you go when you are filled with just a foundational fucking incompatibility with a planet full of idiots? TJ Maxx. <laughs> That's their slogan. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I, I think it's self-destructive of them. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think not they, great. I think it flew in the face of their base. But, yeah. well, but they they where do you it. go when you have a foundational <laughs> incompatibility <laughs> with a planet of the idiots? TJ Maxx. Max. Yeah. Yeah. It's catchy. You got to give them that. All this summer, men's pants are two by two. We got <laughs> shelves I don't know how stuff. clothes work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they sell them like animals on the yeah, ark? Marching on the <laughs> ark, two by two, hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> uh, I think that it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I I feel like there's a lot of people right now who just have a voice for the first time with the internet. There are folks in marginalized groups that um, are speaking up for the first time. There are people who are. Uh, like us, who are white men who aren't really used to being challenged a lot um, that's happening now, and it's up to us to just sort of be like, well, you know, you, we kind of just got to suck it up and deal because, boy, oh, boy, has it been easy to be a white man. And certainly a credit card debt to pay. I'm really glad you brought that up. Yeah. Because not only, not only did three years ago on this podcast that I, pro- I, I, I knew, you know, I wanted to make sure I acknowledged that, that as far as voting concerns, like, like you know, I was the, you know, on this very podcast, I was I have changed from a guy who was like, your vote doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I was in my 40s saying that. I used to so, say it too. So that, the, you know, but if you asked me at that time, I'd like to say, if you asked me what my deal breaker was, I would have, I would say, I don't know, a fascist coup. But um, <laughs> but however, like, I th- I'm glad you brought, th- that's the more important thing to bring up, because I was 25 once. Mm. I'm going to give it 20 years ago. And when I was, <laughs> when I was 25, um, yeah, I mean, if I was living in this world now, would I leave an Instagram comment on a man's Instagram whose cartoon I liked telling him to get back to work because his cartoon sucked? No, never. No, those people are horrible. Yeah, but, they are. However, uh, but, 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 you know. But now they have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> But but the nerds but, have never been oppressed. But a lot of the people who who ex- or are saying <laughs> things like we we have been we've been equalized. Like you can't. It's the t- very beginning of the start of a whisper. You can't tell a precocious fifteen-year-old from a uh, emotionally retarded nineteen-year-old from a twenty-five-year-old who's been abused as a child from a thirty-six-year-old. That's like like the all of that shit is out the window, right. which is probably ultimately if we survive this rapture. 
a better thing than a worse thing. Right. Because throwing out biological strata is probably going to, could benefit us if we survive this. Yeah, we're all going to need to work together to survive the horrible things that are in store for us in the future. But I guess that means that if you're a 45-year-old and you're like, I hate the world, like, the test upon you, if I expect today's 25-year-old to comport themselves with some dignity when they're leaving comments on my girlfriend's Instagram, there should also be, that I have to look at myself as Gandalf and go, well, you have responsibilities to... Kind of. If Peregrine Took knocks a barrel down a well... <laughs> Like, what if, what if Gandalf had just been like, you piece of shit, I'm going to skin you alive. And then the, <laughs> the, 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 the ogres came and he's like, just take him. I don't care. I fucking hate Middle Earth. Did you know wizards aren't even men? They're like a different species in this world. I'm a fucking elite. I'm out of here. Teleport. Level nine. I'm, I'm Gandalf the purple in a world without dipshits. <laughs> Just I, I come here for fun. I love the image of Gandalf being like, boring. <laughs> he kind of does. But Big deal. He does do that, but I'm realizing now, okay, maybe don't be irritated by him because he also, he's the acid test is he goes, you shall not pass to a fucking Balrog. He's out there. And he says, fly, you fools. Good. To, to be fair to him, he gets to apparently live through that, which no one else does. I'm like, oh, uh, hey, Gandalf, right, where were you? Well, I lost that fight to the demon and fell through a thing. And then I, then I'm back. I think he yeah, won. Yeah, that, that's a good metaphor for the structural uh, benefit that being a white man has uh, in this Actually, society. Yeah, you don't have to fight the Balrog that hard. Yeah. Right. I've prestiged. Yeah, you just become Gandalf the White. Yeah, yeah. Gandalf the, the toxic male white. Gandalf the... <laughs> Gandalf the white, fragile... <laughs> Gandalf the problematic. Gandalf the, Gandalf the fragile white uh, gun owner. <laughs> uh, you can take my staff from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> I didn't buy it because I'm conservative. I bought it because they're ruining the world. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using this voice when that's literally my justification for having bought a gun. Did you buy a gun? Yeah, because I might you kill know, myself. Oh, all right, well, that's actually a reason. I mean, because that's one of the things that might no, happen. No, that's when not true. That was supposed to get a laugh, too. I, well, I, 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 <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> it's true. I just, like, I, it's probably true that I would maybe. Right. If I, that's why everyone didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, let's talk about how satire works. <laughs> <laughs> well, satire works in truth and jest. I mean, but I'm like, like, no, it's, it's just because if I were to ever, like, for instance, uh, I would never, I'm never going to kill myself because unless, Prove uh, it. Unless, unless, <laughs> I'm never going to, unless Cody dies. If Cody dies, uh, my, my promise is not broken. If Cody, if, if He's something. He's already backtracking. <laughs> you said it. So, <laughs> you. What you just said is I'll you never kill myself. You, you, Wait a second. You have not ruled out murder suicide. That's good to know. No, he, no, I'm not gonna murder. That's Cody. a strange read. Oh. But, <laughs> it was, but it was, technically it was, true. It was, it was interesting. It was interesting in a Shyamalan-y kind of. Yeah. I, I like the way you're thinking as a screenwriter. Yeah. Right. I like that you but made Shyamalan an adjective. That was very hey. nice. Hey, hey I'm nice Shyamalan. It's a. It's a Got a it's, a, I was, it was more Yiddish, I thought. It was like, oh, it's, what's this Michaliana? Uh, <laughs> you're being a Michaliana Gassi. You're being an M. Night Michigana right now. <laughs> M. Night Shamalagas. What's this M. Night Shamalagas? What do you uh, If they lived in a village, what did you tell her? Just live in a village. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is a way to end a movie. Yeah, she goes course. to a gas station. Yeah, what water? That, that whole place is covered in water. Oh, hey. <laughs> I swing away and then it's supposed to happen. Who doesn't see dead people? I see dead people every day. I talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> On the internet. I don't know what to do. I go Have to you, my therapist. I, I, I like it. My, my, my marriage has been dead for 35 years. Like, oh. You, you don't see me oh. convincing about it. You know, it's a, oh. a sixth sense. I'll sense tell you, it's, 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 it's hot in here. <laughs> Richard, I'm Richard, Richard Lewis. Sugar <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure gonna... He's like, the Larry Cable guy of uh, Borscht Belt horror humor. <laughs> <laughs> we could have kept it on the road, but I drove it off the cliff of anti-Semitism. Like, kind of, 
because it turned into like, oh, everybody, every, every, J- Jewish people are all old Jews that don't like humidity. Uh, that's what, uh, As a Jewish person, it's a different kind of heat. You're Jewish? All right, let's fucking do a this. different kind of heat. Roll up the sleeves. Hey, they say the call is coming from inside the house. Of course, it's my wife. Oh. M-, M-, M. Night, M. Night, my sugar and a Jewish rap to close the show out. Uh-huh. All right. M. Night, we sugar and a rap. It's not a good idea for a rap. It's the worst concept for a rap since lobster traps. Let me tell you about the history of a trap that you will never see. A lobster trap was a bucket. If you laid it on its side, the lobster would say, fuck it. Go and do it backwards and go in it. Fuck your mama in an hour and a minute. All right, thank you for coming to Harvest Chat, everybody. <laughs> right. Let's give it up for our guest, Josh Androsky. Oh, yes, I'll measure B. Yes, I'm Participate in municipal elections. Yes. Look into Measure B. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do and whatever. It, and it's, uh, Google its concepts and, right. and have conversations about Believe it. Yourself. Let's give it up for everybody here at Harmontown. Yes, Chris Borff, Steve Levy, Church, Nolan Fabrica, Zach McKeever. I'm Jeff, your, uh, your comptroller, your game master, Spencer Critton, and your mayor, Dan Pajamas Harmon. Oh, no, what's happening? Thank you all for coming, everybody. Drive fast and take chances. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.